Welcome to the another tutorial of Spring Security and in this we will see the changes related to new Spring Boot version of 3.1. So here we have already created Spring Boot with 2.7.0 version and in this we have used Java 11 with this Spring Security starter package along with DevTools, Web and Lombok which are other details. So this we have already created in Spring Boot 2.7 version where we have created a user user details and admin details API. The security which we have enabled is that through this API gateway of user details, user will be able to access and through admin details, admin will be able to access. And we have created this in memory user with Sumit as admin and Ajay as user. So Ajay can access the user details because Ajay is user and Sumit can access admin details because Sumit is admin. So let's run this Spring Boot project and see how we have created these since they are already created we have created tutorial for all these you can check out this video for further details and i have added the link in the description this we have earlier added with name and password which we don't require right now rather we have created in memory user of sumit and ajay with encrypted password with bcrypt passcode encoder and now Let's see how user can access user details and admin can access admin details. So here user is Ajay. So we are going to do a login for the user details and see how Ajay can access the user details. So localhost 8081 home user details is the URL. So this has asked us to provide the username and password. So we are going to access this user details for the user. I am going to get Ajay with this password, encrypted password and ajay123 is the password so ajay as a user and password as ajay123 let's do a sign in and you can see that we have successfully seen how user details are returning in user details now see if admin details can be accessed through his user since ajay can access this admin part will not be accessed through ajay so let's see if ajay can access this admin details or not so let's go to the browser and change this to admin. So admin details, as you can see, it says for Python 403 as they are not accessible for this user and the user currently which we are using is Ajay. Now let's see if Sumit can access this admin details or not. So here again, let's do a logout and let's do a login with the other URL of admin details and it has asked us to log in. Now I'm going to log in this Sumit as Sumit123 password. Sumit with password as Sumit123. And as you can see, Sumit can access admin details. This is how we have written our code in Spring Boot 2.7. something version. And now we are going with 3. something version of Spring Security and Spring Boot. Now 3.1.0 we have started. And if I'm going to build, as you can see, surprisingly, it will not build. It will give error while building the project. So I've gone with Maven build. Inside this, I have written clean install. So Maven clean install, as you can see, it is already giving error that version is not matching. So for the version, I need to change this Java version from 11 to the latest one. Let's go with the 17, Java 17. Because Spring Boot 3. something is not accessible through the older version Java. So I have used Java 17. So I'm going to change the install GRE in the editor. So edit, go to the directory. And here in the Java part, I've already installed Java 17. So I'm going to use this Java 17 as a folder. Let's remove this pin part because all Java 17 will be required. And Java JDK 17 have written. Click on apply, apply and close. Now, if I'm going to build, it will build successfully. And for Java Spring Boot 3. something version, you require Java 11. And now, as you can see, since we have changed this Spring Boot version, this web security configuration adapter is not in existence. So this needs to be removed. And also, for that thing has been removed, we need to create a bean where you, we can provide the API URLs 
for different user access. For this different role access of that particular URL, I am going to use security filter chain, which is as per the latest Spring security feature which has been provided. So this configuration, the configure method which was there using web security configure adapter is no longer existence in existence and we are going to use security filter for that. The things which we should write is Spring security and this CSRF disabled is also deprecated or is removed is no longer in existence. Rather you should directly use HTTP dot authorize request and you can use request matchers. Here you need to provide what URL you want to match and I'm going to do the access for the user here. So in this the user should have a role. So role is her, the user's role which user has been assigned and let's first go with the as role as user and then request matchers again for the other URL which will be provided and this will give the other URL here and then again has role and I can provide directly the role here. So and finally dot and form login then finally close. So and form login these are the usual syntax which we were using in previous versions and as you can see what is the URL home and user details is a URL. So I'm going to use here as for user home and user details then to start for whatever should come it will access it's a kind of regex. Same thing for user and and the admin URL for the role of admin. So for admin I need to go with the home then instead of user details I should go with admin details as admin here and the role should be of admin here so I should write admin. So as you can see this has been done finally we need to go with the part of creation of return of this HTTP. So finally I am going to go after building this HTTP and this access is giving an issue with this authorized request URL is not applicable for the argument. So we need to change this from authorized HTTP request to authorized request. Now I am going to add throws for exception. So this is how the spring security filter chain works for the three dot something version of spring boot. Now the previous things all has been deprecated and now these are into existence. Authorized request and form login will also be deprecated in coming times. So as you can see 8081 the spring boot project has started. So now I'm going to access this project in the URL and as you can see this is already commented out. So now let's go to the browser to access these part. So before going to that part, let's make clean everything. And as you can see it here, this is the URL and this is the user's detail of Ajay. So I'm going to access again this user of Ajay and admin the user with Sumit. User will access this user detail admin will access this admin details through security filter chain. For this I am going to go with the user details first again. So localhost 8082 81 home then user details. So similar thing since we are already there this has user has not been logged out so I am going to do a logout first. So logout and again do login through that URL home user details and the user detail will be of Ajay and password will be Ajay123 and sign in in user details. Similar thing which we are already seen in the previous version of Spring Security of this user Ajay can access user details. 
now let's go and see so it can access this admin details or not so let me change this first to admin so that it will give me error let me remove this part and it already says that it has been for forbidden so i'm going to go to logout and after doing logout i used to remove home part now i have done the logout now i'm going to access the admin details so home admin details should be coming just after home then admin details and the for this as you can see this user says details now since this user should be sumit for admin details and password will be sumit 123 see sumit can access the admin details so these are the beans which are created in latest version of spring security so if you are using spring boot of 3 dot something version you should go with security filter chain and in memory user details if you are not using db so these are the beans which needs to be created thank you all for watching the video